straight into the action on this one. We got a loaded container in front of a jack in the box. Hold on, let me just walk out my uh, cables. I'll stand on the other side. And I'll show you why this one's difficult. So, we'll go over here. Wow, it is bright today, huh? Hello, Hulk. That is why. Now give a race to whoever built these telephone poles, man. That is one strong pole. Fully loaded container, roughly 40,000 pounds. I'm gonna be using Hulk, the 50 ton rotator, and then big flipper. My dad right now in the 75 ton rotator. I'm gonna kick some butt on this call. We're assisting, that's uh, Mr. C's. They run this area in the city of Southgate. So we'll be assisting them. He's setting up his truck to do a, a lift and catch on the on the tractor portion. Let me go see what's going on. Put the truck down. All right. Just helping uh, Mark over there, Mr. C set up. What fire department wants us to do first before we upright it because of the pole is inch it away from the pole first and see if we can break it. Let's see. I'll show you how bad it's stuck right now. Well, that's what it looks like. So by uprighting it, it's gonna take down the pole. You like my camera setup? I do. <laughs> Can I get one in a second? Absolutely. I'll give you a twist lock here. You could use this one. All right, I got all my rigging equipment done pretty fast. I got the truck on high speed idle. That orange strap is gonna be uh, the strap to bring over the container. We'll attach it to that bottom corner and then I'll be using the container sink for my catch. What's up, Dad? Ugh. All right. Okay. So, got everything walked out. got all that set up so let's rotate into position that's about good now we start booming up till I have ever so slight tension on the cables right there then I boom in you want to do it so the head of your boom right there the end is just kind of slightly in the middle of where the container is gonna land so if the tires land like right here you want your line of action which is the catch right there to be able to really catch it if it's too far in then the container is going to slam towards your truck and that's never good all right. now all i gotta do is push this up a little bit let me drop it down all 
it just rides up very gently. Now when I go up, see, now I protect the edge, the strap from that edge. It's the little things. See how my dad's doing. I'm gonna help him set up real quick. Yes, take a look. Negative. All right. So now we're gonna do the testing. Show me. The fire hydrant? Isn't that a fire hydrant right there? I knew I saw one. That looks like a pole. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be hard. I think there's a, either a, a fire hydrant or a yellow pole, concrete pole. It's a fire hydrant. Right, there's a hydrant? I knew I saw one down there. Yeah, that's a fire hydrant. That's for sure a fire hydrant. I can see it. Alright, that's all we can get to shut it off. But you know what? Let me take a look. Maybe I should sky it. I should sky it and then put it over on that side. That changed everything. Uh maybe not. I thought it was up there. No, no, yeah, but in terms of changing things, when he spikes it over, it's just gonna. Yeah, well, it's gonna go that way. It you is. You can push that up. Huh? Okay, how about this, Dad? Let me scoot it away from the pole first. That's step one. Then you focus with your truck on the cabin. We'll sky it. We'll have to do that first. So where's the fire guy at? I'm gonna start the pull. I can at least do this part first. I always like working with multi agencies. It's nice that we're no. When they're ready, they. I'm ready. <clears throat> so the reason uh, it's going to make it an issue is when that cab comes over, if you don't do a direct vertical lift, it's going to tear through the entire side of the tractor and get caught, and they could snag everything up. Yeah? Okay, so let's do this. I can do this part first. Let's... <clears throat> well, with this truck, let me get it away from the pole, and this truck will attach here and straight lift it off. If you could do that, that would be ideal, because it looks like it's in a clean space. So yeah. Rough. But it's gonna get tricky for you guys for sure. I like tricky. So whenever you're ready, man, give me the green light and I'll start. I gotta wait for him. Okay, going in. It's bending good. It's bent. Let me tie. Hold on. Yeah, I don't like this. Then let's see use. This? See what it's doing? So it's gonna let go with some momentum right now. Yeah, I see that. Is it caught on something? Yeah, yeah on yeah, the bolt. And, and it's gonna create. No, I'm gonna do it slow out. Use your truck. Well, we gotta hook up to it. It's already hooked up. I got all the stuff attached. Just drop your lines. I got my rig points already done on each corner pocket. See, this is why two rotators is perfect for a job like this. If you use one truck, you would have one truck in the middle with two lines. Uh, on opposite ends and that would create the biggest crush factor. This is a situation where you would rip a, a container in half. Both your shackles on each corner pocket dad are set. So just attach your cables. Well, you're gonna go to the top. 
Yeah, both of us are going to do a top pick. The red one and the green one on the other one. On the other co hole. Well, then let me do the red over there. Sure. So green only here, huh? Yes. Bro, could you hook that one up to my green? Please. And what I'll do is I'm going to boom down and extend out so we're both directly over the middle. Put it here. Just put that shackle there. Yeah, that's rare. You don't see that every day. Usually containers we can manhandle like nothing. It just so happened to land on these big thick bolts and with all the weight it like you could see it, it crushed. Oh. What a mess. So as I was pulling here, I mean you could see I got the front, the rear off the ground a good amount. It's crushing the container. I can keep pulling on it, but all that's gonna do is bring this into my truck. While that part stays in the middle, I'm going to bend it in half. Like I said, what a mess. And then put the red line. Off a little bit because it's going to, I could see the pendulum already. It's going to swing your weight. You got it. I'm going to so boom down. drop it and blow out a little bit, please. Hold on, hold on. Let me raise, I got an idea. Let me raise this first here. Watch y'all guys if they this thing break that one. Watch y'all mark. Because if this thing breaks, it's gonna come down this way. And you're right in harm's way, my boy. Josh, that won't break. I got tension on both my ends, okay? Alright, I have to walk around on this side and make sure everything's good. All right, try it again. See? I know. Look, it's coming off, it's coming off. I got it. We got it, we got it. You should put some wood there. See if Mark has any two by fours. Josh, you wanna go in? Now you can swing it that way, Josh. Oh yeah, we did good. I know, so he wants it away, put it in. All right, let me stand on this side. Well, that was hard. I'm swinging it away from the pole. There we go. I guess a bit more. That's good. We got it away from the pole. That's step two. It's not fun unless it's hard. Now that's some serious damage here. You can see where it was snagged on. That bolt right there is what was holding it. I mean, you could see it ripped right there. Josh, we're gonna just go get right over the fire. That was my first thought, yeah. We have no choice because that's just fiberglass. That won't, if this didn't break it earlier. Yeah. All right, guys, we have re-rigged. We did one final walk around. The fire department says we're cool with uprighting the tractor, even though it's still on the, the fire, the fire hydrant. If it does more damage to the cab, oh well. The good thing is they can make that call, and the things are already destroyed. I mean, it went through. No leaks. They checked. They gave us a green light, so I'm just waiting for my dad to be by my side, and then we can start to lift from here. You know what? I think I want to go in the back. Let me see what the status is.
Keep going. Keep going. It's gonna it's gonna destroy that roof, but you wanna do it from right here? Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Okay, we're, we're lifting. What's gonna do is mess up that the cab right there. Hey, why don't we stop and we put some relief cuts around this? Mark, they're gonna use a sawzall. Yes, they're gonna saw it. Well, they do that. Doesn't hurt to do a walk around. Inspect the damage. How you doing, Hulk? Look, we are masters of this. What I mean is very close calls off this side. Let me close these toolboxes. Move these straps up ahead. So when this thing falls over, these tires are gonna be right here on the white line. Perfect. fiberglass.
okay. They are done. That is the final result. A brand new fire hydrant, what it looks like. It's still yellow and pink. Go in a little bit more, just a little bit. Okay, a little bit more. Make sure you keep your catch line tight. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it. Let's wait for him to catch up. Yeah, I, want, I want to get rid of this fire hydrant. That's on my mind. More. The park. Oh, we're in the clear. We're in the clear, yeah, right? We're in the clear. Okay, we're in the clear. <sighs> Good. Now they're going to do one final thumbs up to give us the okay to finish the upright. And that's what you call papitas. Check this out, how I can manipulate it. As it comes over, I just tighten up on the white and it's gonna skid over like a foot and a half. So let's try it now. Look at the tires. That is cool. I'm holding it in the rear and my dad is gonna blow out with Big Flipper. Okay, that's good enough. But you see what I did is as I'm lifting up and keeping the same amount of tension on the lines, we're rotating it at the same time so it could clear that outrigger up in the front. Right there where my dad's standing so those tires don't pop or get caught up on there. I'm good on my end. Before I touch base, let me see what's going on with these tires. Oh, I see. You know this. What, wanna rotate it your way? You have to. All right, let me get some, a uh, little bit of height. Ready? I've been ready, I'm waiting for you. Go. 
Right there. Right there. Go out. Yeah, perfect. That's because I let out the tension on my truck. It looks like it's leaning ugly. Can you guys see that lean? Maybe because we still have tension right here. Ah, I know it's heavy. The guy said 40,000 at first and then he said he doesn't know. What does it have to Is it a lift of load? I don't know. Go out with the, with the red. We got it out far enough, that's good. Yeah, I know, I'm dropping it. Yeah. Let's go out with both our cables. Just drop it, drop it, drop it. See if it's leaning it's bad. It's leaning bad. Look. It's correcting a little bit. Yeah, that's horrible. Hold on, hold it. Leaning. All right, guys, we got a leaner like always. We're going to do the test. See how right here, I could fit my whole hand almost double. In fact, I don't even have to go to the other side. I could just zoom in. You see over the tire on the other side, there's no gap. So that's not good. And as you can see, we have no tension up on the cables. No tension means that they're slack, so we're not holding it. The container's in free mode. Obviously, we're attached, so if you know if it won't fall over, it'll catch itself, but we have no tension on the cables. And check this out. Look at all that gap. Look, to prove it, you see all that slack? So I got no tension at all. And <clears throat> we got to open up the back. That or counter lean it. If it's metal shavings, you can't. Let's get permission to open it. We can open it. All right, this thing, because it's leaning so bad, we're going to counter lean it, but we got to see what's inside. We're going to get some bolt cutters. That already has a battery in it. We got both cutters coming too, boss. That wire. That cable down there. Right there. Stand clear, just in case. Oh yeah, you're not going to counter lean that. You are not going to counter lean that. Yeah, that is not good. During the shift, I mean during the flip, all of the weight went to one side and it stays stuck. By counter lean it, we would pick up on this end right here, but that would that, that isn't guaranteed an, an even counter. That only works on some loads. Oh yeah, all the way to the back. You can't counter lean this. How are you gonna counter? I mean, let's try it. We, we can try it, and maybe we'll we'll get a maybe we'll get a miracle. All right, well, we're gonna attempt the miracle and counter lean it. Let me know when you're ready and I'll start. You know what, blow it out some more, son. Put it way over here, please. Okay. Is 
Stand clear, I'm gonna push it. At a good distance. Uh uh. Go in and up. You gotta go in and up. Good. Okay, continuing. Negative, look at the top. If anything, the top bales will fall over. Well, go ahead, try it. All right, let's go. Up. There we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> That's good. It'd be nice if we could, we could, we could throw this one over. Let's we try it. That one over, huh? No, hey, hold on. That, that, that could go over. Look. Right, let's drop it, see what it does. Dropping. Let me get rid of all tension. There. How does that look? Oh, we did a miracle. That's what I get for being cynical. I didn't think we'd do it. Look at that. Remember it was touching the tires? Mark, you good to, I think they're good to tow it. Huh? We definitely enough to clear roadway. Yeah, but look at the landing gear. It's all the way up and it's practically touching the floor. That is funny. This thing is bad. See, on the bright side, at least, it's above the tires now. Not by much, but I mean, that little counter lean did help. Huh. All right, let me put my, my gimbal camera down so I can focus on getting rid of some of this rigging. Get out of this intersection. All right, guys, despite me being cynical, thinking the counterling wouldn't work, it held well for its purpose. Mark's company, Mr. C's Toe, is not far from here at all. So they could just go down this street, which is uh, Firestone towards the 710 freeway, just passing Atlantic, and they'll be able to limp it to the yard. And then from there, uh, we can manhandle it. So I'll be putting all this rigging stuff away. The great thing about the synthetic stuff is I got light weighted is instead of chain and all that. It'll take seconds, so let me do that and we'll put the trucks away. Hey you, I'll put in a good word with the boss. You did good. Yeah, <laughs> I heard that. Alright, and just like that we are done -zo. I got Hulk put away. It got dark pretty fast, huh? The container's holding okay it wasn't a perfect load correct because of the way the load is it's impossible without forklifts and offloading or something but we did the job we got it so we can safely transport it back to mr c's yard Thank you for the call. We're trusting uh, my dad and I to help you out on this one. Did a pretty nice tag team job. Wah! 
You know what I just realized? We're in front of Jack in the Box. I can get some food. Sourdough Jack will hit the spot. That is one destroyed container, man. That pole is like the strongest pole I've ever seen. I've seen these knocked down all the time. This one knocked down the container. But anyways, yeah, we're out. Mark's done hooking up, so I'm gonna just quickly follow him back to his base for safety, and then I go back to the shop. Just about time to go. So Mark's yard over here is in uh, Southgate. So what we're gonna do is he's gonna back up through this intersection right here and then go southbound on the street called Atlantic. That's the best way to do it because if we go down straight here towards the freeway, we won't make that turn. Especially because this load is so uneven. We wanna go as straight as possible. Got everything hooked up. Hulk is ready to be the escort. Still standing by. Now we gotta wait because they're up there fixing the uh, that pole, the street light. And then it's escort time. I'm solo and I'll be driving, so I don't think I'll be able to get that in the footage. I'm sure it'll look cool. Imagine having Hulk as an escort. That's where the damage was done. That's crazy. And I would have never known had the driver not said anything that he landed on a fire hydrant. Yeah, I mean, not that it would have done really much difference. It just would have snagged and it wouldn't have came over smooth. So as the container's coming over, the tractor would have probably been caught right there on the fire hydrant. And then once it breaks free, it, it, could, it could ricochet. This is definitely something that, that would have buckled if you only had one rotator in the middle. Again, like I was trying to explain earlier, imagine you have one line right there in that pocket. Your truck boom head is right there in the middle above that M. And then the other line is in that pocket. So you have a really high extreme angle. And as you winch in, you're almost, because of the damage in the middle, how it's bent, you're pulling it apart. You're bending it, it'll rip it for sure. Well, it looks like I will be here for a while. And my battery is getting low on the Sony. So I'm gonna just call it quits right now and wait in the truck. You guys enjoy this quick one. Peace.